Tino Sports Central will be going over a college ball game preview and prediction on one of the big games coming up in the Pac-12 in Week 10 of this 2020 season, and that's going to be between Washington and California, and this is going to be a crucial game for both these teams. Obviously, the Pac-12 coming into this season is only allowed seven games, so this season is going to be really short uh, for this conference. So that means every game is going to be twice as important, and we'll be going over a full preview on Washington and California. Obviously, you got California on one side. Uh, which is looking to have, I mean, they're a dark horse, I would say, in the Pac-12 right now, uh, considering, I mean, they've got so much talent. And then Chase Garber's a quarterback. Um, if he can just stay healthy, I think California is bound for a great season. You know, for Washington, they lose Jacob Eason. But then again, Washington still has a ton of talent moving into the season. So you got two very different teams here. But I think both teams are definitely bound for good seasons. And we'll be going over a full preview and prediction on this game, which is going to be on Saturday, November 7th, 10.30 p.m. Eastern in Berkeley. So California will be your home team here for this matchup. And yeah, the spread currently says California by one. So the spread is extremely close, pretty much even for this game right now. Yes, Penn FBI has got California by only a percent, 51% is the prediction for the FPI. And I believe um, if you're thinking a little more uh, specific, then California, I think, is favored like 50.7% in comparison to Washington, which that basically means California is favored by 0.7% for this game, which is insane to think about. That is a very, uh, a very close prediction there by the ESPN FPI. Vegas prediction is also very close, but it leans towards the Washington side, 29 to 27 being the final prediction um, for the score prediction for this game, which Washington that is the only place where they're favored in our three sources here uh, between California and Washington. So it looks to be a pretty close matchup between pr two pretty good teams. Here's just a comparison for this game, and obviously both teams have not played a game yet in 2020. So these are your 2019 final stats. And for Washington, they had 31 points per game last year, 30 points allowed per game. They had 243 passers on average. 164 rush yards on average and then for yards of lab it 227 passing and then 148 rushing so washington overall had a great season i mean points per game and points allowed was pretty close as far as those averages are concerned but as for as it goes for california they got 29 points per game 26 points allowed 201 pass yards 182 rush yards and then for yards allowed 218 passing and then 152 rushing so all around california is looking really good in that area as well and california does have a better ratio as far as points per game two points allowed goes from last season obviously washington does have uh, more points per game but california's got a better ratio because they've got more of a difference between their points per game and points allowed so that is something that you do have to note here heading into this matchup but here's some key points for this one california is on the verge of having a breakout season in my opinion i mean if you look at them last year i think there was a stat out there that said if chase garbers or when chase garbers was starting at quarterback california i think was um, undefeated because of him starting at quarterback and how successful that he was in the time that he was quarterback which once again he dealt with injuries pretty terribly last season so that was the reason why uh, California did struggle at times but Washington let me remind you they are a younger team heading into the season obviously Jacob Eason is no longer with Washington and he was a great quarterback for a long time for this team and for Washington they're coming into the season with a lot of talent still but there is a lot more question marks for Washington heading into the season. I would say, honestly, that I'm more confident right now in California than I am in Washington. But then again, I mean, the safe pick for this game could be Washington, mainly because of, um, of how they, they've been more successful in the past few years. But California, I would say, has got more talent in this situation, once again, considering how well they played when, uh, when California was uh, or didn't have Chase Garbers last season. So this is a very important game for both these teams to get a win here, though. There's no doubt about that. I mean, when you've only got seven games in regular season and a trip to the Pac-12 championship is on the line, I mean, basically, considering you've got 12 games in a normal regular season, having seven games basically means every game is twice as, a, as, a, as important this season around. So, I mean, yeah, every game is extremely important for everyone in the Pac-12, everyone in the Big Ten, too. I mean, the Big Ten only has an eight-game season, so that's kind of how it is uh, for a lot of these teams in this college football season like it just it just puts a lot more emphasis on the games like every game is so important for every team and for washington and california in this matchup especially i mean considering this should be a pretty close matchup you gotta watch out for that as well but here's my prediction for this one i've got california getting the win here i think washington uh, starts out really fast and they've got a or they get a 17 to 14 lead at the half but in the end i think the second half is going to be very high scoring california is going to get the win in the end 38 to 31 i think chase garbers leads this team to a great win, especially in the second half, this team is going to really, uh, really put on the 
you know, put on the pedals. And I think your probability is going to be 65% towards California. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if Washington get, did get the win here, but I just think California, uh, especially considering Jace Garbers, will be starting for the Golden Bears in this game. That is going to be a huge positive for California. And I just think, I mean, I don't see Washington going on the road and getting the win here. I just think uh, Golden Bears in this situation are too good. They're going to get the win, 30-31 to 31 being your final score. Uh, but it will be close. There's no doubt about that. I think there is a good chance that we do see Washington get the win. But I just think, once again, California uh, being the team that's at home in this situation, I've got California getting the win, 30-31. to 31. They've got more talent and firepower in the end. And once again, just with Washington being as young as they are, I just don't think... Uh, with all the young talent that they have that they can get a win in the first week of action back into college football So yeah, that being said that was my prediction on this game Do let me know your thoughts in the comments below on this one I'd like to hear your thoughts on this game But once again, thanks again for watching if you enjoyed this preview stop a like on it subscribe as well Read up to the channel. I really appreciate that. But as always. Thanks again for watching stay tuned for more from all sports central. I will see you all later